So this is a, a quick session on LinkedIn training, uh, maybe 15, maybe 30 minutes, depends on how it goes. But we'll see, uh, we'll see what it does. We're going to come back to this note, to these notes all the time. But this is LinkedIn, as you know, uh, this is the platform, and I want to quickly show you uh, what I'm doing on it and how you can leverage this platform because it's just an amazing place right now uh, to be at. So I'm here with my daughter Nell. So we'll uh, together try to put this um, together, both of us. So we'll see how it goes. Right, let's do. This. This is my profile, uh, as LinkedIn as you know it. I'll show you quickly my profile and what you should be paying attention to. First of all, um, you have to design your own kind of background and there is obviously a few designers in, in our chapter. I don't want to uh, sort of say what you should do, but you should definitely have that professionally made. I use a company called Canvas, so if you're sitting at home doing nothing, or Mal is too busy, or someone else is too busy, you can actually create design on canva.com. So you can click on, and I'm pretty sure they have got, let's have a look if I type in linked in banner. So if I click on that, there'll be some designs here that you could use uh, for that to, to make it slightly easier. So for instance, you know, there'll be free design and then you can just change some fonts and you can change a picture and do something else. So, so there are some fonts that you, or some stuff that you can already use, uh, kind of predefined, but if you want to have something special, go and see, uh, someone special who can help you with that. So that's Canva. So make sure you've got, uh, the, uh, that kind of professionally made also here. Um, it needs to be kind of up to date. So your about section, there is plenty of talk about uh, about this section. Uh, you know what should it have, what shouldn't have. Treat this as a bit of a, um, a about you, but also the fact that it has got some SEO value. So if people are searching for a bespoke tailor, men's tailor, Liverpool, um, you know weddings, I think I mentioned here somewhere. Yes. So so think about that. That it's it has to be. Um, somehow that it's SEO friendly, right? So, so spend some time on about. There is again plenty of companies, plenty of copywriters that you can uh, find that could help you with that. I personally use a lot of my copywriters and a lot of my kind of um, in-demand talent, um, on-demand talent uh, from here. So, for instance, if I type copywriter. If, if that could work. Um, that's going to find me some copywriters and I can be super specific if I want to go and search for someone for the UK only, let's say, and you know, there'll be freelance copywriters you can see for £86 um, dollars an hour. I'm sure that person's going to create some excellent about sections for your websites or for your LinkedIn, right? So, um, so make sure you do that uh, and make sure you are consistent with your um, image and your text online as well. So uh, ask Mal, ask other people in our chapter if you've got any questions about this, but um, yeah, that, that could that could easily work uh, in your favor. So so use, use that. It's about section. Uh, I always add some media. So if you haven't got any medias, uh, maybe you can record a video. Maybe someone can put a video together. Yeah. And that's my daughter, Nell. Um, this is just for my information. Articles activity. So I've written an article um, and uh, majority of articles don't make that much sense these days on LinkedIn. Link LinkedIn hasn't used this for anything else other than um, just trying to be like another medium, but nothing has actually been happening on articles. You can see, you know, 47 views. Like this is not something that we should be paying attention to at this very moment, right? So, um, so I wouldn't be worried about articles. Have one, two, but the majority of your activity should be on posts. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. Uh, but shouldn't be it should be on posts, not on your articles. So set up your profile correctly. Uh, so we're going through this, and add as much details as possible. So if you look into that, if you look at my profile, I always go here. I'm sure there is a shortcut somewhere. Uh, but if you look at a view profile and then you scroll, 
I'll add as much detail as possible. So all the experience is there, all the media is there, all the other stuff that I could possibly have is there as well, right? And then you've got education, and then you've got one of the most important things, which is skills endorsements. So for instance, bespoke shirts and bespoke suits and made to measure suits, people are actually endorsing me for that. So great, what else people endorse me for? Other things, but I've successfully decided that I want to edit those and I put those three up, up front. So if people want to endorse me, they endorse me for those three. So again, it's SEO juice. And look at this, recommendations. I've given 40, I received 36. Uh, majority of the recommendations are part of um, our old BI group from Manchester. Um, so I've asked everyone who I, who I had one-to-one -one with to basically run me a recommendation so I can write recommendations to them as well. There's obviously some clients as well and etc. right? So uh, super important when people want to try to work with you, have as many recommendations as you can physically can, right? And you can easily ask for recommendations and they'll be, you know, if we go click on A, look how many people can ask for recommendations, right? A lot. So uh, great. Uh, Adam Kamani, I can ask him for, um, Adam has mentored you on Bespoke Tailor, next, send. So it's super simple to get recommendations, right? If people obviously are familiar, so speak to people first, uh, just to make sure you, they know that you're sending them recommendations. Um, set up a business profile. So for instance, if I go to my, um, I don't know, Bespoke Shirt Club, my Bespoke Shirt Club, I've got a logo, I've got a profile because I've actually created this profile on LinkedIn as well. Not much is happening here, but just the fact that it says Bespoke Shirt Club, it has got links back to my website. Um, you know, it has got, it has got all the things that you see I should have there as a URL. So that, all of that adds the SEO juice uh, to you. Add media to your profile. Yeah, so setting up a profile is fairly straightforward. If you've been on your LinkedIn game for, for long, you'll be able to do that fairly. Next part where you're going to become your BDM, your business development manager. You want to grow your LinkedIn audience. You're going to grow your LinkedIn presence. So how do I do this? Let's say I, ha Let's say I go to people on my search. And I'll go to... First degree connections, and I will go in Liverpool, <clears throat> and I want to make sure I'll I'll, uh, I'll get I'll remind people who I am and what do, what, what do I do. So I go to Simon, Simon's general manager at, at a hotel. Um, okay, great. But if you scroll down, maybe he's got some article that you can comment. But you can also do this, right? You can endorse him for stuff, right? What's going to happen right now? Simon's going to get a message to say someone has endorsed you for these skills. And he's going to look and it's going to be you. So you are very easily getting into Simon's inbox without being salesy, right? So let's say, you know, we at B&I um, are looking for health and safety, have a safety specialist, maybe. Okay, and I would say first degrees contact. Okay, and maybe in Liverpool. Ah, we'll see who's in Liverpool. 29. So Nick is Nick. Let's have a look. Let's have a look into Nick. Nick is health and safety sustainability director. Okay. Great. So what I would do is actually endorse Nick into all of those skills. And then maybe I would message Nick saying, Hi, Nick. Hope all is good. How is business? Are you looking to grow, uh, grow your business? How are you keeping up in these strange times? Right. Okie doke. So maybe if Nick uh, sees this right now, 
he's going to be able to kind of respond to it and fairly easily kind of uh, say, okay, uh, what's this? Who's this guy, right? And et cetera, et cetera. So if I'm looking for a particular person, I want to, I want to reconnect with them. This is the way to do it, right? Okay. So endorsements. Um, use Doc Soup. Doc Soup is. I haven't actually been using that for a bit, so I'll show you what that is. Doc Soup is a plugin to Chrome. So it's a um, it's a kind of a way to um, generate that LinkedIn or, or becoming a LinkedIn assistant uh, for you. Um, I have some success and also some kind of okay situations with DocSoup where I was doing I was overdoing it and what it what it happened it's basically it, it, it locked my account but for a, for like a few days my LinkedIn account was locked but what it does it it can actually filter through a lot of um, accounts so for instance you would say I want to have a partner in law firms in Liverpool Manchester it will find a thousand contacts and it will actually go through it. So it'll visit them, maybe it'll endorse them, maybe um, it'll capture the details and then it will produce a CSV file. So it basically trawl in those um, accounts to then get that information off those accounts. And then you can, I don't know, give them an e send them an email, GDPR, whatever else rules you've got. But uh, but Duck Soup is, is a very inexpensive way to do it. I think it's like tenner or something like that i think i was paying yeah like 10 pounds whatever 15 dollars right a month and that gives you a lot of things um so it's definitely worth having a look if you just want to basically automate the lead generation process for docs soup uh, so that's what i've been using um so that's fine so that's doc soup what else have we got uh, Alfred is another one. So Meet Alfred is this amazing, um, I'll show you this because that's already my account. I'll show you that without the, oh, I probably I can't. Uh, maybe I can't. Meet uh, Alfred.com. So I'll show that on my incognito. So Alfred is very similar to Doc Soup, but what it does instead is you create a campaign so you're very uh, very focused in that respect and you can obviously listen to it we we won't be listening to this but um this is my uh, meet alfred app uh, so this is the one that i've been telling you about um and what you've got here is my stats so if i go to campaigns so i have launched five campaigns and it kind of the app tells you how to do it so i won't go through it right now but the um there is there is um, certain tasks that you can do within LinkedIn to get life coaches, and I found 127 that I wanted to reach. Uh, we've already sent 50 invites. 13 of them was accepted, and there was some replies from me. And how does this work? Usually, if I click on let's say sequence, you create a sequence. So you say, okay, view their profile, send them a connection request, then send a follow-up message if they accept it. And then maybe send them another message after two days and then view their profile again so so this is how it's kind of set up and i set it up for all of those as you can see so um so yeah the, these campaigns can kind of run and you can target different people depending on, on what you want so this is uh, the meet alfred app uh, so we talk about that. So use competitors connected to. So if we go back to your LinkedIn, so I might go back to my LinkedIn and have a look who are my competitors connected to. So let's have a look again. Let's say I think that my competitor could be a guy called Andreas. So he's also a tailor. Um, and I think I looked at his profile before. It's not very up to date, uh, but if I look at his um, uh, sort of profile, I'll be I'll be able to gauge um, kind of who is he targeting. So if I go search and I go Andreas, okay, and then I won't connect with him, but maybe okay. So he's got mutual connections. So in order for us to see it, LinkedIn has changed this slightly because um, we only can have the first connection. So we see he's who's connected to, 
and we'll see how well he protected his profile. Yeah, so he said only first contacts can see my second connections. So this is what this is. So I normally, if people don't protect uh, their um, profile correctly, I'll be able to see their uh, second degree connection as well, which is useful. But of course, Andreas um, didn't do that. Or it could be Nick is another um, competitor of mine, if you like, lots of mutual con contacts, but again, uh, I won't be able to see his second degree contact, I don't think. Uh, let me just check. Uh, but usually you won't, I won't be able to see it. Uh, maybe there is some you see. Uh, so this second degree, second degree, second degree. So Nick hasn't protected his uh, as much. So I can see right now there is plus 300 connections that I could possibly be, um, you know, be making to. Um, hmm, interesting. I wonder if I can actually go to meet Alfred and create a campaign. I'll show you quickly how does that work. So I've copied the search. Okay. And let's just let's just create a view. Uh, I don't want to create anything else, just to view the profile and I would do it in Collier. Right, and I'll publish that. And I wonder in in a minute that's going to tell me if um, there is any contact. But if there is, I mean, that could be a very nice and easy way to create um, hmm, some interesting interesting contacts in your in your um, on your LinkedIn. Right, if I can tap into three hundred contacts of, of of Nick's. So that's great. That's the uh, Meet Alfred app and see who competitors connected to have a certain response ready for LinkedIn connections. So in my on my notebook, I don't know if I'll be able to see that. Uh, so within notes within my Mac. If I go to LinkedIn, if I go to LinkedIn, oh okay. Oh so you can see a LinkedIn oh no I haven't got that here. Hmm. Okay, um, LinkedIn training. Okay, that's the one. That's the one I was thinking about. So um, you can see that I've got a connection request. So if someone requests a connection uh, from me, I've got this uh, copy and paste response that I'll give them. Uh, and I also SEO worded that so they got the information that I'm a tailor, they know what I do, that sort of thing. So uh, I copy and paste that. So look, this is how it would look like. So if I had a connection request, let's have a look. I'm sure I have. So I'll go to my network. So for instance, Callan, right? So what I would right now go to is click accept. And as soon as I click that, LinkedIn should be able to tell me that we are connected. So I can go message and I'd say copy and I would say, Hi, Callum. Uh, what a account assistant. So accountant hasn't come with loads. I don't know what your speciality is. Boom. So that's me accepting um, the invitation as well as me straight away sending him a message. So so I have those responses ready so we don't have to all the time uh, kind of respond and I go through a connection request once a week maybe once every two weeks just to see how things are um, I'm aware of time so what else we've got social selling links this is very interesting LinkedIn has introduced something called social selling index social selling index LinkedIn and I'll paste the uh, it's not that, it's not that, that's the one. So it's called LinkedIn Sales SSI. I'll paste that onto this Google Keep. Um, so you've got it, okay. Uh, so what a social selling index is, is connects to your uh, LinkedIn and tells you how well you're doing out of 100. So all of that matters because if you're doing fairly well, your posts are going to be more visible so you're going to so more people are going to see your post because you're kind of the influencer right so the higher the score the better so go and check your score 
on that. Uh, so it's super important to keep that score up. Part of this is consistency. So share within our Atlantic group. Um, I think I've seen uh, Francis's. Yeah, share that uh, in our group because it makes sense that whatever you post is actually going to a group so people will comment on. Uh, Crystal Nose plugin, that's another plugin that you should definitely pay attention to. This is a paid for plugin, but what that does is, is unbelievable because it recognizes people's behaviors on LinkedIn. What does that mean? Well, I mean, Greg, you wanna, you wanna click on Greg. So it tells you what Greg is, likes quick action, avoids stagnation, he's dominant, and he even tell you like what's the risk tolerant and what, how skeptical it is or not. It is unbelievable how this accurate measures. I think you've got like 10 profiles that you can have. Uh, like if I go to uh, LinkedIn and I click on, uh, can I go just not LinkedIn, LinkedIn. And if I go to LinkedIn and I'll find someone um, and I'll click on them, you'll be able to see that you've got like 10 uh, profiles to see before uh, you have to pay, but it is unbelievable. It even tell you how to send an email to them, what do they like, what they not. Like it is unbelievable and it's very accurate. When I saw the things that it's telling about me, I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, this is so accurate. So it's worth having a look, especially if you're doing a lot of uh, writing messages on your own and you want to make sure that you, you know, that you talk in the right language, that sort of thing. If, if you know, if you need any help with that, let me know and I'll obviously help you uh, set this all up, but it's it's fairly easy. Um, and I think it costs like 40 quid a, a month if you want to do this. So it's free to start off. And I think it, uh, how much does it cost? How it works? I don't know. You'll figure it out how much it costs. I think it's like 30 quid a, a, a month, I think. Um, yeah, it doesn't even tell you how much it costs. So yeah, so that's that. So check this out. Um, ah, don't post articles, just post posts. Have some articles on your LinkedIn, but not many because they just don't work. So what I mean by articles, if I go to uh, my profile, if I go to my profile and I look into some posts, so you can see there's articles and there is activity in general. So if I click on my activity, there's articles, there's posts. Posts are what gets viewed. Articles are just, yeah, they kind of okay. And you can see on the majority of them who viewed them and how many people, you know, like a thousand people, 300 people, 200 people. Videos are usually generally a lot less responsive than a picture. And you have to start be thinking about how you're going to create a content. So you can see 1,600. Uh, there was, that one's a big one because I said to people, like, which one you like, single or double breasted? And look what has done that too. Uh, I mean, you can see who's view this 509 salespeople, executive directors, um, Liverpool, Manchester, London, Aberdeen. So what does that do to you? Of course, it, it'll create some some traction. So um, so make sure you post something that is relevant, but post every day uh, and ask a question. So that, that gets um, a lot of shares. Do that between 7 and 9 a.m. So do all the... Uh, post in the morning if you're doing it in the afternoon it drops massively because people kind of start going through the day so do post every day um, yeah do that <laughs> give hard and comments not just likes so if I go through my um, wall if you like okay if I go through my wall and I like something I'd say a heart and something else right I wouldn't just give it a like so okay you know because if you look at that I'm the only one who is curious right so it obviously stands out especially on a, on a big ones you know with lots of attention and lots of people uh, talking about it make sure you are uh, commenting uh, the right stuff right so yeah 
inside folder, that sort of thing. Okay, so do that. Uh, people are going to notice that. Oh, and one pound eighty strategy. This is from Gary V. So I'll put that it's not mine. It's Gary V. He said something about this one pound eighty strategy, which is kind of silly. But what that means is you leave your uh, two cents um, at at every every stage. So for instance, you've got an opinion about this, write this opinion, and you keep going, keep going, keep going. And uh, there is this guy, okay, and you read it, and you're like, ah, I've got an opinion about this. Leave the comment, leave the opinion. And when you do that, always start with at, and then, mm, great idea, Adam. So he's gonna see that, uh, it's going to pop up on his notifications. He's definitely going to notice that. So do more of that. So that's, um, uh, you know, basically leave 20 cents. So you only do that to nine posts a day, and then you're going to have um, £1.80 strategy. But leave your 20 cents on on like every opinion and do that every day and comment on every day and like every day do those things every day and you're gonna see results so um, hope it was useful hope, let me know if you need any anything else but I'll share that uh, with uh, you as well so you've got all of that um, and I'll leave those um, kind of comments on my YouTube video as well so you can go and see it I'll post that YouTube link on on within the group as well